That and man's penis is so green. Hello. How are you? Hi. Everything good. good over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, sorry. I, I was... have news. <laughs> oh, yeah? You have news. I can't wait to hear it. What's your news? Okay, so the doctor that, or the prosthesis doctor, well, I don't, I can't say it. Um, the one that said several months ago that Tucky would never be able to walk again, um, has had, I guess, a change of heart because now he's going to have inpatient therapy or something like that, but yeah, uh, it's going to be like two weeks. He's got to be at the hospital and so where he can learn how to walk again. Nice. Well, that's freaking awesome, man. Congratulations. Now, does that mean you're not going to have to carry him around anymore? Or <laughs> I don't carry him around now. Just, just making sure. <laughs> um, yeah, and we've got family in town, too. So. Oh, wow. Is there a bunch of people staying with you or what? No, um, they're actually staying in a hotel. Uh, my aunt and uncle from Colorado were down here, and we went out yesterday and had a big family dinner here. And then tonight we're going to a restaurant called the Lazy Goat. Okay. Well, goats are kind of lazy. You ever met a goat before? <laughs> yes. My uncle yeah. had one. I mean, they jump around a little bit. For the most part, those little fuckers are lazy. But, well, congratulations. Oh, he named it Elvira. <laughs> oh, boom, boom, boom. You got to do that every yeah. time you say it. Yeah. <clears throat> um, well, congratulations. And uh, and uh, thanks for putting the show together today. It looks like we got a bunch of them to get through here. But the first one, this doesn't happen often, but the very first clip, in fact, is going to be an audio sample here. So I think this will work properly if I do this. We shall see. Here we go. Oh, cross your fingers or toes. or You know, it's probably offensive to people with fingers, without fingers and toes. I'm sorry, cross something, okay? Unless you're not into crosses. <laughs> then just think pleasant thoughts. Hello, this is Dan oh. Kelly here again with another little release that's just come out from J.A. Jakin. It's Nikolai's Vengeance. Here's the uh, blurb for you. Nikolai's world goes up in flames when soldiers invade his country, leaving chaos in their wake. Captured and enslaved in a foreign land, Nikolai struggles to cope with the nightmare of slavery and adapt to the terrifying and inexplicable world he is thrust into. He draws courage from a steadfast determination to get justice for his murdered family and, he hopes, inner peace by finding and killing the man responsible for the destruction of his village. Yet through it all, Nikolai's greatest enemy might not be foreign powers, enemy soldiers, or the self-serving machinations of his fellow slaves. But himself. You know, <clears throat> I'm no expert on torture. I've never been tortured <laughs> myself or anything like that. But if mm. you, you, the waterboarding thing, you're doing it wrong. You got to cover the nose, I think, so the water doesn't get in there. Otherwise, you'll fucking kill them. Um, anyways, hello. I think that was Hi. the whole idea. Yeah, uh, anyway. So, uh, yeah, thanks for sending that in, Dan. We really do appreciate it. Um, and next we have. What do we have? I was lost. Okay, there we go. Imperfect Illusions, Devastating Magic Book 1 by Venora Lawless. Oh, okay. that sounds good to me. Narrated by Logan McAllister. And that one came out on the 12th. Next we had... The Only One Who Knows. Okay. The Only One Book 1 by Cat Grant and L.A. Witt. Narrated by James Levine. Nice. That one came out on the 13th. New name to me there. Next we had... Uh, the Only One Who Matters. The Only One Book Two by L.A. Witt and Cat Grant. Narrated by Tor Tom. Nice. That one came out on the 13th. And on that trend, we also had... <laughs> Nine-tenths of the Law by L.A. Witt. Narrated by Andre Lash. 
Nice. Uh, actually, Which is not Michael Ferriello. It's not actually. I'm uh, I'm I'm about to do a uh, an L.A. Wit to Michael Ferriello uh, dual narration thing. I'm very excited about. Uh, wow. Coming up in the next couple of weeks here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm excited. And I saw those and I was like, wow, it looks like Lori's been fucking busy lately. Next we have, and I, I don't mean to like you know Bogard the show or anything. That's probably offensive to people with the name Bogard, so I'm sorry about that. But oh you know what God. I mean. You're um, not offending anybody. <laughs> next, we had an audio clip. Here we go. <sighs> that is Queen. Hey, <clears throat> hello, you fucks. I am John Solo, and little Lisa Gremlin asked me to do a promo for Nick Norden. This is the Foster Brothers book four. This is the lovely Nora Phoenix. Everyone loves Nora Phoenix here, and pretty much everywhere, I think. <clears throat> She's a household name. Anyways, uh, this is the blurb for this. Everybody's going to love it. They've been waiting for it for a while. The audio just came out. The stupidest thing a con artist can ever do is fall for the man who has to catch him. <clears throat> it's like one of those trust fall things. Never did trust some people. Norton likes to think of himself as a modern-day Robin Hood. And not like the Kevin Costner, you know, with the fake British accent. He, dude, Kevin Costner's British accent was worse than mine in that movie. Redistributing the wealth from those who don't deserve it to those who do. It's fun, it's exciting, and it makes good use of his talents and gifts. Unfortunately, not everyone sees it like that, including FBI agent Tavin Donnelly. Tavin and Norton met ages ago, and from day one, were unable to keep their hands off each other. Now that Tavin is with the FBI, that's a problem. He should arrest Norton, like yesterday. Except he doesn't. And worse, they can't stay away from each other, risking both their careers. When fire burns that hot, someone will get burned. Fire's always hot. <clears throat> Nicked is the fourth book in the Foster Brothers series, a contemporary M.M. romance series about four men who choose to be brothers that can be read as standalones. And it's a hot and steamy instant attraction, two men who can't keep their hands off each other, a battle for the top, and the sweetest surrender. There you go. Love you all. Good luck. Peace. Were you listening to Ice Ice Baby before you did that? I was uh, putting the music together for this morning, and I was inspired. So I, I put music <laughs> in the, uh, the, you know, so. Yeah, and if you're watching this on YouTube, you get, if you're watching in the Facebook group, you actually get to hear some music before, and it's, like, entertaining and shit. So, anyways, yeah, uh, thanks for letting me do that. And Norton is fantastic, and I think that's a wrap on it. So I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. Next, we had... Zane. Lord... Lords of the Other World, book two by Stella Rainbow, narrated by John York. That's a convenient name for this industry. That one came out on the 13th. Then we had The Elemental Keys. Okay. Circle the Square, book one by Sam Burns, narrated by Greg Boudreaux slash Tremblay. Not such a convenient name for anyone, this industry or not. Next we had Game Misconduct by Ari Barron, narrated by Cooper North. That one came out on the 16th. Then we had... World Running Down by Al Hess, narrated by Cooper North and Calvin Joel. Or Joy Joel. All, or I don't know. I'm not sure. I think that's the... Was that Superman's dad? Next we had... Um, collateral Damage, Criminal... Intentions, Season 1, Episode 8, by Cole McCabe, narrated by Kurt Bottom. Nice. And uh, just all we, we got Kurt coming on to talk to the beard very soon, yep. which is sweet. Haven't seen him in a while. Yeah. Good job Has there. Has he ever I, been on? No, not on the show, but he used to hang out in Discord, and I chatted with him quite a few times. I think we've worked on a book or two together at some point, too. But, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, next we had... Always Him. Inevitable Series Book 2 by Cora Rose, narrated by Nick J. Russo and Iggy Toma. Iggy Toma. Next, we had... Cherry Picked, Sunday Brothers Book 3 by May Archer, narrated by Michael Dean. Chorizo at it again. Next, we had... <laughs> Another one by him. Seeking Sanctuary, Men of Fair Lake by Romeo Alexander, narrated by Michael Dean. The uh, chorizo is busy. Next, we had an audio clip from Mr. Winters himself. Look, no one's ever accused me of being sane. 
you know? So when I say that I'm crazy over this RICO agent, know that I mean business. Sure, I'm responsible for getting him fired from the job he's wanted his whole life, but his grandfather just died and left him $13.1 billion. Dude deserves a break, is all I'm saying. And yeah, I'm a violent mobster with a savior complex, but that shouldn't get in the way of our epic love story. Besides, a little gunplay in the bedroom is good for the soul. Nice. I love Hopper. Everybody's pretty excited about that one. Yes, the excitable murder puppy. <laughs> yep, everybody's everybody's <laughs> doing murder puppy shit there. Oh yes, Hopper and exclamation points galore. And yep, congratulations on the release. Thanks for getting that in too. By the way, I really appreciate it. Um, next, we had Tough Love, Men of Men of what? Men of Olympus, book two, by Diana Roman. Mm-hmm. Narrated by Liam DeCosmo and Tim Page. And that one was on the 16th. Then we had... Playing for Keeps, Miami Piranhas, book one by Beth Bolden. Narrated by Darcy Stark. And that was the 17th. Then we had... The Gay Detective by Lou Rand. Narrated by Mike Cole. That's... At first, I laughed at this. Like, you know, that's a goddamn great <laughs> descriptive title right there. I mean, you know what you're getting. Yeah. Oh, look at the size of that gun. Next, we had. <laughs> uh, Taming Savage Tales Reimagined, Book One by R.S. McKenzie and narrated by S.R. Thomas. Yeah, he's doing that. Is that a jacket that he's wearing there? I'm having a hard time seeing it because he's... I he, think so, probably. He's doing it wrong. Know. He's doing that jacket wrong. And then we had... Omega from the beach. I was just saying Aaron... that you got to put them together. You know, you like the jacket's supposed to close is all I'm... Anyways, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I love Amy. Go ahead. Hand Lance. <laughs> Omega from the beach. Heron Manor, book two by Amy Bellows, narrated by Lance West. You know, that and man's penis is so green. It's, oh, God. It's got a joint on the end of it, which is really odd. No, um, no, no, no. And uh, finally, and lastly, I, I'm looking forward to this. Here we go. <laughs> I haven't even seen it yet, but there we go. Blood Prophecy, Blackwood Pack, book 11 by Mary Rundle, narrated by... Nick J. Russo. Well, Nick J. Russo knocking her out of the park. Thank you so much for putting all this together. Now, it looks to me like you were listening full this week. You listened to a lot of stuff. And then there seemed to be some sort of, I don't know if there's a theme going on here or not that I can tell. Yeah, the first one theme. that we had was, here we go. I finally, uh, well, <clears throat> I thought I'd listen to this one, but no, I didn't. No. Because real life happened and I got distracted by other audios. Um, <clears throat> okay. Navarro by Kelly Fox and narrated by Declan Winters. Um, I gave this one five bullets. It's book three of the Rebel Sky Ranch series with Desi and Wyatt. Um, it was a wonderful story. It made me tear up several times. Um, I loved every moment of it, and Declan did an amazing job with this. And again, he makes pretty noises. Of course, he does. And Jody made me a smoothie this morning, and it is like really good. It's got chunks in it, so I'm going to try not to eat it on the air. But chunks of what? I don't know. (laughs) And now that I think about it, this this could be a really good morning, as far as that goes. We shall see. I hope it is. Um, Next, we had. And we had Warwick, book four. Yeah, book four. Yeah, book four. Um, the uh, last of the uh, Rebel Sky Ranch series, and it was a bullet breaker. I just realized. Hey, sorry, I just realized what, what the chunks are. <laughs> Check this out. What this, are is, they? this is this is how wonderful Jody is. So we're working on Mingo this week. Mingo and the pineapples. You remember the pineapples with. She so put anyways, pineapples chunks? She put, those are chunks of pineapple, because I'm working on Mingo. 
That's just a, it's a love. It's a lovely gesture. I love you, Jody. Uh, anyways, uh, sorry. Warwick, book four. Kelly Fox, Declan Winters. There was. Uh, it was a yes. five bullets or a bullet breaker. I missed it there. Bullet breaker. Heyo. Sorry, I'll shut up now. Because there was a. It was MMM, um, and we got to. I love how she. I still love how she intertwines people from other series. You got to see like Anders and. Guardians popping up and having some fun at a pop up pool party. Can you say that again, really um, fast? A pop a pop up pool party. That's great. One more time, please. <laughs> no, <laughs> pop up pool party. Sorry, I enjoyed that. Go ahead. But it was very hot, very hot book, and very emotional. I did tear up a few times because Declan made. The characters just come to life that much more than when I read the book. And he's doing amazing things with Kelly. I do think they fit well, very well together. It's a really good I mean, match. Not to, yeah, not to take anything away from uh, Zach or Blake or even you, because I know you did. I was going to say, motherfucker, what the hell? You just forget me here? Or, but, but yeah, I, no, I get it entirely. And I'll tell you what, I've not actually gone over and seen a session, but from the reactions that I've seen from everybody else, those two are match made in heaven. It's fucking perfect. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> um, kind of like Alice and Greg, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, next we had, and here, <laughs> might as well just <laughs> keep it on going. And then we had Attraction, which is book three of the Mobsters and Billionaires series and i gave this one four bullets it was a lot fluffier than the, than the rest of the series but i still loved it once again kelly and declan did an amazing job with all of it and i just absolutely loved it ford and luca were just so cute together excellent good job putting the show together this week you did great I try. Yeah, no, no, I, I didn't good. forget anything this time either. No, and you're even squeezing things in last minute. You did really good. Um, I'm going to be recording later today, um, afternoon, some point in there. So hopefully I'll see anybody who wants to hang out in Discord. Thanks for doing the show. Good luck. Peace out. And we will see you all next week. Bye. Bye.